Welcome, my name's Chris Hamilton. Thanks for joining. So every every YouTube channel has a purpose, I, I assume. I, actually, I know for a fact some don't have a purpose. I have a 16-year-old daughter and she watches plenty of channels and I cannot for the life of me figure out what the primary purpose of the channel is. Uh, sometimes they're video game watching for hours on end. Um, and so obviously that's that's got some entertainment value. For me, developing a YouTube channel, it scratches a couple of itches, right? Obviously, I think the whole point is to get people to, to watch and to be interested in what you're saying. I think for me, I've got a 16-year-old daughter, as I mentioned, and part of this is to show her how you can do something like this, right? I come from the, the school of thought that says if, uh, if you want your kid to do something, you better be prepared to show them that you can do it and that you're willing to do it and it probably doesn't hurt if you show them how to do it, right? So there's a lot that goes into video production as it turns out and producing professional YouTube videos, uh, developing a whole channel that you wanna build a subscriber base for. I don't know anything about any of that. I'm, I am a va avid YouTube watcher myself and I'm sure from time to time I'll mention some of the YouTube channels uh, that I've subscribed to. Uh, so yeah, for me, this is part of being a good parent, I would say, right? Not that this is the only way that you can be a good parent, uh, but I'm definitely interested in introducing these capabilities to my child, right? So, you know, what I intend for her to learn uh, through all this is that it does require a little bit of work. Uh, in fact, it might require a lot of work. I'm pretty new to it. I do suspect, you know, I do suspect I'm gonna have to develop material, so I've started creating a note list of things that I will uh, produce some videos about over time the name of the the name of the channel's wide open research productions which doesn't really mean anything at all right I, I do love research and I'll talk a little bit about that but as it turns out most people research every day of their lives whether they're researching products to purchase or they're researching entertainment to uh, consume or you know, YouTube videos to watch uh, but I definitely think she will learn how to set up lights. So I have lights here that I think will help to increase the production quality. I'm hoping we'll play around with that and we'll learn about that. I've got a green screen behind me and so I'm interested to see how that can work, how it won't work, how it may fall down. What I think the most value from the whole process will be is learning how to use the video editing software, right? And becoming more familiar with the capabilities uh, that it has, because as it turns out, some of the things that I'd like to produce videos about are gonna require me to leverage the video editing software in ways that I hadn't really given a whole lot of thought to using other material, uh, doing some screen capture where I'm walking people through spreadsheets, things like that. I'm personally interested, you know, if I was gonna pick a thing, I'm personally interested in finance a lot right now, right? But, but, but like anybody else on YouTube, I end up finding myself going down rabbit holes. Um, so you never know where you're gonna end up in YouTube. But the main point is that, you know, if you want to, if you're gonna tell your kid to, to do a thing, I think that you better be prepared to help show them how they could do it. Uh, clearly, I think that she could probably do it with just an iPhone in her bedroom. I don't think it would take anything more than that, but I've never done that myself. I have a Samsung phone, and I think the video that I get off my Samsung is not high quality enough that I would put it on YouTube, although I think other people do. So I don't know if it's just something I'm doing wrong or, or if it's something that could be done better. I am also interested in the ability to create a content library that has continuity of theme Right, and so if I think about myself and where I'm at, I'm at a, you know, I'm, I'm in my late 40s, right, looking out to retirement over the horizon. And so what are the things that are, uh, that are beginning to intersect in my life that I'm required to learn a lot more about, which involves watching a lot of YouTube videos, reading a lot of websites, uh, you know, examining my own uh, situation, and then, and then figuring out how I can craft some productions to uh, deliver through YouTube that help other people to understand how they may be able to uh, get through their own circumstances, right? So specifically related to retirement, I think that you can find yourself, well, this isn't about retirement. This is about 
setting up YouTube for your building a studio to help your child right the, the primary the primary purpose of this primary purpose of this effort is to help my child understand how she can build a YouTube studio with not a lot of money I think at this point I've got forty dollars out of pocket uh, for some lights and equipment I did just subscribe to the, or I purchased some video software editing uh, a license for for twenty dollars I'm pretty cheap right I think as you watch videos of mine you'll begin to realize uh, I hate to buy things if I don't have to right so I, I borrowed borrowed a lot of gear from my dad which I mentioned in another video uh, I actually borrowed my dad's laptop my dad is a pretty hardcore gamer so he has a spare gaming laptop which is pretty high-end as it turns out and is nice it's big it's got big fans on the bottom of it even but all of that stuff is required I think to to produce the videos um, I'm interested to see as my kid if my kid demonstrates some interest in this she has an iPad an iPhone or no, she has an iPhone and an iPad but it's the MacBook that I know has some software on it that would specifically allow her to do some of this video editing so I'm curious to see if she can develop a knack or a capability uh, to do the same stuff using her tools right because I think uh, yeah, my personal belief is today uh, kids are learning how to use technology and specifically software just right out of the gate, right? They're given a, a pad, an iPad, or a phone, and so they're instantly beginning to interface with software, which is new. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, uh, you know, software was something that didn't enter my world until I was an, uh, probably early me 10 years old or so I think I stumbled onto the Atari consoles right so you're playing Atari or in television if anybody remembers that on your TV right and then late in the 80s personal computers arrived and you began to interface with computer programs but it was far different than uh, the ubiquitous nature of technology today where kids at a very er, at the earliest age are given a device and intuitively figuring out how to use software so uh, I think it is what makes the younger generations unique is that they have this intuitive ability to figure out how to use software. Um, and it's it doesn't come naturally the older you get, right? I think uh, so I'm hopeful that my kid will be able to figure out how to use some of these tools, leverage them in a way that allows her to be successful at doing whatever she wants to do. I, th I think that YouTube is, a, is an incredible platform for anybody who's looking to do anything and communicate with potential customers or whatever stakeholders out there that would benefit from hearing what you have to say um, so that's why that's that's the purpose of this channel so thanks for watching tune in again subscribe if you're interested uh, we'll catch you later